Celtic State of Mind attended the Stevie Chalmers auction with Tears in Glasgow and were lucky enough to purchase amongst this green and white hoop jersey eight lots from Stevie's personal collection. We can assure all Celtic supporters and the Chalmers family that these items will be treasured and looked after by true Celtic supporters and that's our plan to actually put them on display at some point for other Celtic supporters to enjoy. Over the next couple of minutes please enjoy a closer look at some of the items a Celtic State of Mind were lucky to win. Lot number 1908 at the Stevie Chalmers auction at McTears in Glasgow was a match worn Coca Cola jersey that Stevie Chalmers had swapped with an opposition player. Uh, part of that auction was also a home and away programme that were owned by Stevie. And the Coca-Cola jersey, quite an unusual jersey, there's no tag on the collar to tell you who the manufacturer was and indeed there's no tags whatsoever uh, within the, the, the jersey itself. You can see that the badge which is just a big bold K is uh, a vinyl on the material and you've got the two stripes down the right hand side of the shirt. It's in good condition, it's a very unusual shade of green and on the rear of the jersey you have the number 4. Again, it's a, a vinyl number and it seems to have come away in certain parts but it is a fantastic example of a European match one jersey from the Stevie Chalmers collection. Lot number 1912 from the Stevie Chalmers auction was this. 1970s green and white hooped jersey manufactured by the long time kit manufacturer Umbro and you can see the Umbro International label on the neck of that shirt there. This is a jersey that we don't think was actually worn in a competitive game by Stevie and we are trying to look at whether or not he wore it in some form of benefit or testimonial match or perhaps because he still had links with the club and the likes of Neely Mock and he was gifted this at a later stage. It certainly um, has all the hallmarks of it being a match worn jersey with various stains etc. And down the bottom here a lot of people may not realise this um, who are not match worn collectors but there was a number of stamp on these jerseys going way back to the 60s. This one uh, was blue. I've also seen them in yellow on the front of the jersey and this one has been more or less washed off through the years of this being longer. But there you go, a beautiful example of a 1970s green white Celtic Hoop jersey. Lot number 1903 in the Stevie Chalmers auction was this unusual pioneer jersey. It was described as a match worn jersey, you can see from the crest on the front of the shirt that it was old Feyenoord which was the old boys or the Feyenoord legends who would play benefit charity exhibition matches and they teamed up with the old boys at Celtic to play a match sometime after the 1970 European Cup final. The manufacturer is Roby Sportswear and underneath it tells you that uh, that was manufactured in Holland and you can see from the, the back of the jersey and uh, the kind of classic number, number 16, which would have been Stevie's shirt number. This is a training top actually that all the Celtic and former final players wore prior to the, the challenge game that they thereafter played. So this was worn in a warm up by Stevie prior to the game that they played against Vinny Anson and Co. Lot number 1900 at the Stevie Chalmers auction at Lake Tears was a collection of two pennants that were owned by Stevie. It's difficult to date them. The Real Madrid one on the left, obviously, Celtic played during Stevie's time a couple of times against Real Madrid, 1962 and 1967. And the final one, which looks a lot newer, could well have been from the same period of the match won final jersey that a Celtic State of Mind also purchased at that auction. 
auction 1909 of the Stevie Chalmers auction at McTears was this iconic pair of number 7 Celtic shorts that Umbro shorts you can see the, the actual number has been sewn on as a patch front and rear of the shorts what I find interesting about these is there's an inside pocket you can see the stitching there on the front of the shorts there so on the front inside there is a wee pocket in there I don't know what Stevie or any of his teammates would like to keep within their shorts during a match but these are umbro shorts and well worn as you can see Auction 1890 of the Stevie Chalmers auction at McTears was this pair of Adidas football boots. You can see Stevie's initials on the back here. You can see well, well worn. Check these boots out. I wonder how many goals the great Stevie Chalmers scored with these Adidas boots. Uh, Adidas obviously being the official manufacturer of Celtic's football boots for the European Cup final. There's no suggestion that these particular boots were worn in that game. They certainly were well worn and you can see just by looking at the studs underneath just how well worn these boots were by Steve. Lot number 1915 was another pair of Adidas boots worn by Stevie Chalmers. In actual fact, these are in better condition than the last pair. These are the moldies, even though the Adidas stripes have started to come away. They are in much better condition than the previous pair that we had with the studs, maybe other than the actual uh, sole of these, which looks as though it hasn't aged too well. Still a fantastic item from the Stevie Chalmers auction. You can see from the, the sole there that it's just coming away through the age. Lot number 1913 in the Stevie Chalmers auction was an interesting one. It's a green away jersey and away shorts. McTeer's auction house actually listed this as a training top, which I feel was an error on their part. I haven't done quite a bit of research on Celtic jerseys over the last five years. Uh, I think that this is actually one of the away jerseys from the 1960s and into the 70s. It was famously worn in many of the European away games of the 1966-67 campaign, but was seen as late as the 1970s as worn by players such as Andy Lynch. Again, shorts have got a pocket in the front. In this particular jersey, I a few questions due to the fact that on the rear of the shirt was the number three. We do know that Stevie did wear the number three on some training tops, believed to be one of his lucky numbers, but I'm pretty sure this is an away jersey and further research will hopefully show when it was worn. Part of the research to try and identify when this jersey and shorts were worn will lie in the umbro labelling. There are experts out there who can tell us when these particular umbro labels were worn. That's the shorts. The top is different from that. Umbro International label, front and back. And the material itself has a, a dimpled effect on it. So a Celtic State of Mind will be speaking to Umbro experts to try and put a date on these items and I'll then be comparing this jersey against the only other example of a match worn Celtic away jersey of its type to see if it is manufactured on the same material. Once we do that, I think what we'll have on our hands here is the buy of the auction.